stage five, and it's our queen stage from Opatia to Labin. Just over 150 kilometers, 154 kilometers of racing, with 2,920 meters of elevation. It's going to be a difficult one, it's going to be a demanding one. It's where we can see our general classification really shake up. Six king of the mountains to come, and our first all category that we've seen in this race so far. From Luxembourg, Tom Lidgen. Bingo. Well, there was lots of smiles and discussions at the start. Arvid declined speaking with the commissaires. There was Nicholas Eich and Jonas Fingergaard's fan club all making their way to Apatia. Jonathan Milan on his 22nd birthday. All smiles on the podium at the sign on. The flag is waved and there's immediate reaction at the start of our Queen stage. Rinko Adverex trying to make a move with Timo Loderer. Wanting to try and make the breakaway. We've seen him do that already during this uh, race. And the first intermediate sprinter, Rijeka Mati Mohoric taking the five and the bonus seconds. Pierre Barbier with the three and the two bonus seconds. Jacobo Mosca with the one point and the one bonus second. Alex Gurin taking the five. Keegan Swirbel with the three and Mirko Miestri taking the one. At our second King of the Mountain of the day, Alexis Guren taking the maximum points 20. Ries Lehmreiser taking 15. Jonas Vingegaard taking the 10. And I think Alexis Guren will firmly move himself into that King of the Mountains jersey. Jonas Vingegaard looking poised and focused, followed by Mati Mohoric. And we've got a select group who have gotten away. At the moment, Max Poole on the front for Team DSM. They've also got Chris Hamilton and Oscar Onley in this group. Yeah. To that intermediate sprint, Mati Mohoric. Coming through late, but I think maybe Albanese took that one. Group to the red jersey, they've got an advantage of two minutes and one second and the lead that Jonathan Milan has had during the seventh edition of the Crow Race. There's the results, Vicento Albanese taking the five, Brandon Rivera taking the three, Mati Mohoric taking the one into Pashin. Two riders for Yolo Cometa, Alessandro Fancello and Vicento Albanese in this group. Also, Peace Lehmreiser and Jonas Fingergaard, and this is what's happening in that chasing group. Damiano Caruso, Herman Pernsteiner, and Jonathan Milan trying to limit their losses. Gorin taking maximum points in that King of the Mountain, followed by Lehmreiser, followed by Poole. Well, it's within striking distance into the final 43 kilometers of the Queen stage. One minute and one second, they've slashed their deficit considerably with the work that they've been doing in that chasing group between Caruso, Pernsteiner and Milan. Team DSM, Jumbo Visma, doing the bulk load of the work in this leading group to try and avoid Jonathan Milan getting back into contention. Well, it's been a hard chase so far, and at the moment, as we head down our descent, currently leading things down here is Ries Lehmereiser. Just behind him is Jonathan Castro, Vieco, Brandon Rivera, and Omar Freyle. Oscar Onley is there in the white jersey for Team DSM. He's got uh, Chris Hamilton and Max Poole in this group with him. Also in the group, Torsten Tryon and Nicholas Eich. 
Jonathan Lastra and Mikhail Nievi. Also here for Kaya Roal. Well, that's it for Hayes Leimerizer. He pulls the pin, he can't do any more to try and help Jonas Fingergaard. The young Dutchman, his job is done for the day. Meanwhile, behind, two minutes and 44, it's going in the wrong direction and the lead for Jonathan Milan in this red jersey and the leader of the Crow race. Coming into the first passing of the finish line here in Labin. With 23 kilometers to go, Oscar Onley pushing things and driving things at the front, taking six points in that King of the Mountains classification, followed by Freyle, followed by Mohoric. But Onley is trying to split this group. He's trying to get away from Mohoric and Jonas Vingegaard. Vingegaard is isolated here for Jumbo Fisma, and we've got a select group going away. Vingegaard in the yellow and black. There is Rivera, Mohoric, Onli, Albanese and Trien of the team of Uno X Pro Cycling. And at the moment, into the final 10 kilometers, they've got a slender advantage. Into the final two kilometers of the Queen stage, Trying to drive things up towards the front is Jonathan Lastra. Also there is Buchago. Looks like Omar Freile trying to jump away here and they've got a slender advantage. Axel Laurent on the back here for B&B Hotel KTM. Albanese sitting tight. Driving things to close things is Chris Hamilton. And Pierre Roland is trying to take a flyer. He's no threat in the general classification. Can he win the Queen stage of the Crow race? He's got around nine seconds of an advantage, but let's not forget that cobble climb into our finish of Labin. The time gap is 21 seconds. Could it be all over for this group? Are they just racing for the placings and the bonus seconds in the general classification? Pierre Roland, he's coming in to take the victory on the Queen stage, or is he? Because the chase from behind has started to open up. Oscar Onley on the front in the white jersey for Team DSM. Sitting and waiting is Jonas Fingergaard. Matti Mohoric is there. Brandon Manvera is trying to accelerate to come round. And Pierre Roland, has he got anything left in the legs? How can he respond? Can he? I don't think he can, because here comes Fingergaard. Onley is on his wheel. There is Mohoric. Rivera can't accelerate anymore, but Onley is trying to challenge the Tour de France champion, Jonas Fingergaard, for the stage victory. Can Onley take his first professional victory? They're side by side. They throw for the line. Fingergaard takes it. He takes two stages in the Crow race. Onley settles for second. Jonas Fingergaard taking his second victory here in the Crow race. Here it's all smiles with one day remaining, and he takes the Queen stage. Well, half a bite length between Jonas Fingergaard and Oscar Onley. Here's the results, Jonas Fingergaard taking it from Onley from Mo.